He therefore plays many tricks to increase their love. In doing this performance, we hope to portray this nicely, this play nicely, and we ask you to forgive any mistakes or offences we make. We hope this drama will please Shula Grude and all of, all of the assembled devotees. Shri Krishna, accompanied by his cowherd boyfriends, entered this, entered this charming forest of Vrindavan. His head was decorated with a peacock feather. He wore yellow Kanikara flowers over his ears, a golden yellow garment on his body, and a beautiful fragrant Vajanti garland around his neck. Sri Krishna exhibited his supremely captivating appearance, just like the best of dancers performing on the stage. He filled up the holes of his flute with the nectar of his lips. The cowboy boys followed behind him, singing his glories which purified the entire world. In this way, the forest of Vrindavan manifested even greater splendor than by Kunta, due to being beautified by the marks of Sri Krishna's lotus feet. Is of no consequence. The fact is that I am the king of 
will be there. And then we will will care that I never, I don't know him. He is externally and internally black. I never seen him. I am so. And he wanted to ask how my little boy is. Then he began to fuss so much, he began to weep. Anyhow, he could not check himself. And he told how my brother is, O oh, Vasudev. Fortunately, he has been saved. His wife has been saved. And Kans is killed by his own action. Anyone has not killed him by his own action. Oh, I remember my son. I used to go to Govardhan. Here I, in my home I see the footprints of Krishna. I cannot check my son. That is why I used to go to Govardhan. But there also I see the footprints and there is no tree where Krishna has not done anything past time. So there I also become so worried. And then return I go to Yamuna. Yamuna. But there also I see that, oh, here Krishna used to graze cows and take bath in Yamuna. And remember so many things and then I become so worried and began to weep. What should do? And sing and he began to weep bitterly. Thou saw that, oh, he is thinking Krishna, his son, and waiting so. I have never seen a father like I want to be, have a love and affection like this, but I cannot. His love and affection is like Everest, so hard. And I am like an insect in the bottom of Everest. No? I cannot even look. So, what should I do? If I am telling that you should weep and woo, if anyone is weeping, only one even a drop of tear comes, he lies up, shut, 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 if he is weeping, weeping for Krishna. No? If really one drop of tear will come, our life is successful. But never comes, because our heart is made up thunderbolt. And this person, thinking Supreme Personality of Godhead, Gods of Gods of Gods, Sarvashtarishva. And thinking that he is my son and he is weeping so much. But Krishna has sent me for what purpose? To console. How should I console? Should I tell him that you should not weep? Can I tell? If he is anyone is weeping for Krishna, should I tell that, oh, you should not weep for Krishna? Then whole scriptures. Chalk my mouth. Don't tell. So I should I tell that, oh, Nand Baba, you should be bitterly? Oh, that I, I cannot tell. Then there will be no consolation. So what I should I do? I am in dilemma. Whether I should console him, telling that you should not weep, or I should tell that you should more weep, more weep. A learned person, a disciple of Brihaspati and friend of Krishna, bosom friend of Krishna, and he was also Prime Minister of Krishna. He was everything of Krishna. Eh? But he could not decide what to tell. But in the last he told, Oh, you are so lucky, you are so fortunate, you and Jasuda. So fortunate. Because you are thinking the supreme personality of Godhead, hmm? the gods who can create in a moment lakhs and lakhs world, worlds and destroy lakhs and lakhs worlds. And he is uh, even a master of all these gods 
ऑफ नारायण कर्णाब्दिशाई विष्णु महाशंकर्षण नारायण इवन मोर देन बलदेव प्रभु एंड ही इज थिंकिंग दैट पर्सन हैविंग सो ऑफ लेंस कृष्णा एंड ही इज थिंकिंग हिज सन एंड सो यू आर सो फॉर्चुनेट नंद बाबा हार्ड दिस ओ वी आर सो फॉर्चुनेट एंड ही बिकेम वेट मोर बेटर यू आर आई थॉट दैट यू हैव बिकम सो इंटेलिजेंट विथ कृष्णा बिकॉज यू आर फ्रेंड ऑफ कृष्णा बट रियली यू आर सो इग्नोरेंट सो इग्नोरेंट रियल यू आर नॉट टेलिंग दैट यू आर टेलिंग अस दैट यू आर सो फॉर्चुनेट वाई बिकॉज वी आर फादर ऑफ सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड है बट उद्धव यू शुड नो दैट वी आर हाउ मच अनफॉर्चुनेट दैट इवन दैट गॉड ऑफ गॉड हिमसेल्फ सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड हैड कैम इन द शेप ऑफ अवर सन बट वी कैनट कीप दैट सन विथ हस ओ देर वॉज ए वनली फादर इन दिस वर्ल्ड एंड ही वॉज महाराज द सन वेन राम वेन टू फॉरेस्ट हि टोल्ड वनली टू टाइम्स राम हा राम एंड हा रा हिज लाइफ वेंट अवे बट माई लाइफ इज नॉट गोइंग एंड आई एम सो वरी माई हार्ट इज बेड ऑफ एंड यू आर टेलिंग फॉर्चुनेट दैट ए सन लाइक कृष्ण आई लेफ्ट हिम ही कुड नॉट लिव विथ मी ही वेंट टू मथुरा बिकॉज ही थॉट दैट माई दिस फादर इज नॉट क्वालिफाइड ही हैज नो लव एंड अफेक्शन सो मच एज वसुदेव एंड देव की देव सो ही लेफ्ट सो most unfortunate in this world we are and telling he began to weep so loudly oh he cannot console he could not console and in this way it became past whole night in the morning uddhav went to take bath in krishna kund nearby and at when he took bath and he saw a beautiful garden very dense forest of kadamba trees and he saw that oh very very beautiful tiny as it girls are there because krishna has told that you should go to and pacify my beloved gopis and he saw that gopis are there he went there and did pranam to gopis oh who are it? who is this person they are telling each other oh he must be कृष्ण बिकॉज ही इज सीन लाइक ब्लैक एंड सेम क्लॉथ एंड ऑल्सो अवर नोज कैनट बी टेल फॉल्स बिकॉज ए स्मेल फ्रॉम कृष्ण इज कमिंग ऑन इट सेम्स दैट दिस क्लॉथ आर ऑफ कृष्ण ही इज श्याम बट नॉट श्याम नॉट सेम श्याम ही इज ब्लैक बट नॉट दैट ब्लैक so he should oh he should be any messenger but he has come in this way to show the appearance of krishna that his servant is so high class have decorated with golden ornaments and all these things coming on chariot so why he is he should come to us if he has come he should go to mother and father because any man cannot give up their father and mother because that blood and flesh and everything has made up from mother and father so they he should go and console their father mother hmm? we should know why he should come to us hmm? because we have no relation with krishna hmm? there are two kinds of what <coughs> love oh you are messenger of krishna and because krishna has perhaps himself he has decorated you and we have come here oh so that can you tell that what is real love and affection and what is unreal hmm? if there is real uh, unreal love and like prostitutes that take whole world like 
उसको निचोड़ लेती हैं ट्विस्टिंग क्विजिंग दे विल टेक एवरी थिंग एंड देन दे विल पोस्ट बाई फिट्स एंड बाई दिस अर्ध चंद्र गो दिस इज वट लाइक अनरियल लाइक बर्ड्स इन ट्रीज इफ द ट्रीज इज ग्रीन हैविंग सम फ्रूट्स एंड वेरी सॉफ्ट लिप्स एंड मंजरी एंड फ्लावर्स दे विल बी देयर बट इफ इट इज ड्राई देर इज नो लीव दे विल गिव अप लाइक ए स्टूडेंट्स दे विल गो टू रीड टू टर टीचर्स एंड वेन दे विल बी परफेक्ट दे विल गिव अप देर गुरु देव एंड दे विल कम एंड दे विल नेवर गो टू मीट हिम like deers oh they are always in forest green forest but if there is foreign forest they will give up this forest like persons who are like bees they will go to flowers and take some honey and if taking some honey they will never return to that flower so uddhav can you tell If our love and affection was so pure, how it was cut down? We know that love of our affection, our affection was like this, and the love and affection of Krishna was so pure. But how it was stopped? Stopped? Can you tell? Buddha began to do. He could not understand this high philosophy of love. Very high class. He could not understand. If he did not could not understand what to <laughs> so much ignorance, so much lust and anger, and so much all kinds of offences, how he can realize? He could not, and he could not answer. In the meantime, he saw that very beautiful, tiny is the most beautiful among them. and she was lying down on lotus flowers bed very smooth and she was dying or she was dead or undead some gopis were testing with cotton oh she is dead dead very little movement of cotton and he she began to Speak in anger. Madhu pakita o maas pishan. Uda is hearing, and he is very far away, folding his hands. And she mati radhika singe b bee, humble bumble bamboo bee. Hmm? And she is hmm? just touching. Don't come. Don't touch my finger, my feet. You are a drunker. You are, you are drunker, and you are apavitra, impure, impure, very impure. Hmm? Then we began to do humming, hum, humming, humming. humming. Hmm? Oh Swami, oh my master, ah, why I am impure? Why you are telling? Oh, you have come from Madhupur. What is Madhupur? Where there is a adda. Where is a big shop of wholesale wine. shop of wine? Madhu means wine. And from a, you have come, oh, the master of that wholesale dealer shop is Madhupati, and who is black? That not taking name, only black, and he cheater, and. He is always taking wine, and he is impure. His heart and outside everything is black, black and also impure. We know. So he has sent to you. Why you came in this? This is not the way to come and to console us. Oh, Swami, what fault I have done? Oh, you don't know. I should I tell? Why you two? From where you took this comb comb on your whiskers? Whiskers. 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 Yes. 
Mustache. You should write me and then I will. From where you collected this? Hmm? Bogus person, impure, hmm? and began to chase Don't come. From me, I have not taken any kumkum or anything, but it is natural for me. Oh, don't try. I know. You have collected from the garland of that cheater. Hmm? How? From where Kumkum came on his garland? Oh, he must have met any beloved Jadupuri, any very beautiful lady of Jadupuri. And that Kumkum came in the... when he embraced her, and this Kumkum came on this garland. And you sat by your nature there, and this you have taken from. Oh, God! Go at once. If you are so foolish, then your master will be more foolish than you. I know you, you, so your master will be so foolish and all Jadu, Jado will know. In the council of when Krishna will come with some something like this, taking kumkum or anything, and then all will know and they will all chastise. I know. So he is foolish of foolish. I know. So don't go away at once. Go at once. What is this? This is Dibyon Mahal. This is Chitrajal. When? When Krishna went to Mathura. And who is doing? O Biyogini Radhika. This is the manifestance of Srimati Radhika. But Vishwanandini is always meeting. <coughs> at that time also she is meeting in Vrindavan and also in Radha Kun. I am so happy. So this is Biyogi. After what became? Maybe we, there are um, twelve or ten shlokas. How many? Ten? Ten. And these are like uh, Jalpa, Su Jalpa, Pra Jalpa, A Jalpa, Abhi Jalpa. Uh, so many, ten kinds of. <coughs> So in one, she is telling Srimati Radha, Oh, go. Hey, you, are, you are here. Why you are coming? Oh, you have learned all these things from that cheater, black cheater. Mrigui Ruv Kapindram Vibhyadhe Lubdha Dharma. I am telling of Biyogini, all these things. And Uddhav is hearing. Sometimes he is something understanding and something is very high from his understanding. So, Srimati Radhika is doing. Oh, Mariguru Kapindram. I don't believe. You want to make Sandhi. Sandhi means? Compromise. Compromise. Oh, we cannot compromise with that black person. And you, you have come learning everything, studying everything from him. But we are not going to compromise with him. We know all blacks are like him. All blacks, not only he, all blacks. Hmm? These bees, bamboo bees, Black. blacks. They go to all flowers. Oh, you are my best beloved. And taking him and they fly to another. New, new. And they become so Drunk. m- drunker and mad, mad, mad. that even the, the flower is not so good. Good. good, the smell is not good. Even he will say that. So this black also like that, yeah. giving up all so beautiful we are, and he went to Kubja. <laughs> we know. So Mrigiri Kapindram Vibhyadhe Lupta Dharma. All blacks, in all pra, uh, past uh, times also, there was a black person. He came in as a son of Dasar. And he went to fulfill the order of his father. He left his kingdom, everything, but he could not left leave his wife. He, he took the base of a sannyasi, like sannyasi. But even with that shape, 
he took his bow and arrows. Yet he left his sandals, umbrellas, everything, wealth, he is left in Ayodhya. But he took his bows and arrows, also his wife, because he was so attached with his wife. He could not leave. Then he went there in... Then <coughs> he was so beautiful, that black was so beautiful and cheetah, that even demon daughters can come and be attached. So the sister of Raman, big demon, he was so much charmed with the beauty of that person, though he was in renounced order. And she came and told that, I want to marry you. Then this cheetah told that, I have this wife, so you can go to my brother, he has no wife. She went again to Lakshman. Lakshman told that, do you want to be queen or you want to be maid servant? Oh, I want to be queen. Then I am servant of Ram. So if you are marrying to me, you will be maid servant. And you will have to serve this Sita. So you should go out. If he will tell that, oh, I have this, this one wife, so our father has three and sixty wives. So he can marry you, no harm. Again she went to Ram. And Ram again returned her to Lakshmi. Then he became so angry. <coughs> and he wanted to take Sita. He is the root of all evil. Eh? To swallow. To swallow. That this is the root of all evils. Yes. But Ramchandra told Lakshmi, be careful. And he took his nose. Cut down. Cut down. Eh? What was her fault? Any fault? Ladies, very soft hearted. This was the fault of Ram that he was so beautiful. And why he was so lovely and beautiful. So it was fault of not Supernakar, it was fault of that black person. I also know that anyone did not take the flesh of monkeys because they are like Vanara. Vanar means? Like human being. Like. So anyone, Indians, don't take the flesh of Vanar. They may take flesh of fish, tigers and others, but never take. But that black murdered. He did not take the flesh, but he murdered a monkey. And whose nam was? Why? Because he was so much attached. Because he was so lusty. That black. So behind, not in front. And not from? Uh, from behind of a tree. And like a coward person and he killed. Why he killed? Because he promised that, Oh, I will help you, that monkey, Sugriv. I will bring your wife and you should bring my, my eye. So they were so, both were attached and lusty person. So I know this. And I also know a more black person. And he was who? Bhaman. Bhaman. He took this uh, twelve finger shape dwarf and went to cheat Bali Mahaprabhu. Why he went? And if he went, he told that I want three Steps. Steps. Steps earth. He began to laugh and told, Oh, you're, you are not so intelligent. I want to give, as you like, so much earth, any kingdom, any good wife, any good wealth, so many cows, lots of cows, I can give you. Because I am emperor of whole world, whole universe, chauda lok, fourteen lok. So you should want something more. He told, I am Brahmachari, Brahmin boy. I want only need, only my needful things, not more. So I am so much. Yeah. Simple. 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 Simple.
Then, uh, so I am giving you. You can. Huh? Take. Yeah. Take. Take. Then he became so much big, long, tall. His head began to touch a sky and feet was on earth. And so in feet, one feet he took whole world. Hmm? And se- whole earth. Yeah. And by second feet he took whole universe. Whole universe. And he told that, oh, where should I keep my third leg? And if you are not getting, then I will punish you. Punish you. Then he told that, you can take me. On my head. My head. What means? I'm sorry. Sorry. Everything. Hmm? But he binded him by his knock fast. Snake. By snake. 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 <laughs> and he fell down. And he was weeping that person, Bali Maharaj. Hmm? So how cheater? Like a crow, crow like black, like also crow. And if any lady in Vrindavan you will go like monkeys. If you are taking fruits or anything, very delicious, rabadi or peda, they will take that sweet also and they will <coughs> con con and they will uh, attack by their beak. Weak by pigs. That bit is very dangerous. Hmm? So, he is like that blacks. So we cannot have any... Uh, no, no. Compromise. Compromise. You should go. <coughs> then B was humming. He told that, Oh, you are eat so and hitting with that. And you don't want to come provide. But why you are always speaking Krishna, Krishna, black, black? You should tell any other. other. There are so many subjects, subjects, to, subjects to, to talk. Oh, this is it. We can give up this world. We can give up our father, mother, husband, everything, but no. Oh, he is here or where? Come on, come on. And if he is in Mathura, he is coming to see us. How he can forget his friends and mother and father? And oh, any time he remembers us. Even that, oh, Mathura ladies are so beautiful, more than Brajavasi. No, more than God. And, oh, gopis cannot make so much beautiful godland like you. So anyhow he is remembering and telling this began faint and began faint and began to weep loudly. Without a law. I have never seen. I saw uh, Nanda Baba and Jasoda, but more love and affection in them. And he did pranam. Hmm? Then he told that I want to be all oh, gopis. Uh, what? Ma, uh, mahan me anugraha kita virahina by, by this separation that I saw in you. You sprinkle your more mercy to me. I have never seen, I have never heard like praying like you. So I am seeing that Krishna has made mercy to come here only to send us to you. Because Krishna knew that gopis are my guru, my must, uh, what, teacher. I should send this Uddha to the school of gopis and Uddha should learn, learn there. And, and if he will return, then I can speak anything to him. So he has sent. So I have come and I have learned something. Now I see that Krishna is fully here in Vrindavan. Not in Mathura. Is not. Oh gopis, you are so fortunate. So fortunate. Asamaho charnarena jusamaham sham. Vrindavane gumak golpalatao sadhina 
दुस्तजन स्वजन आर्य पथन चित्वा भेजे मुकंद पदवी सुति ओ आई वॉन्ट टू बी ए डस टू ए एनी क्रीफर एनी क्रॉस ऑफ वृंदावन वेर गोपीज वे वॉक फॉर मेटिंग टू कृष्ण इन नाइट और डे दैट एट द टाइम ऑफ अभिशा एंड दे वॉन्ट टू गो टू कृष्ण सो दैट फीट डस्ट आई वॉन्ट टू टेक सो आई वॉन्ट टू बी ए क्रॉस ओ गॉड ओ कृष्ण यू शुड मी लाइक दिस सो दैट आई कैन सत्य फीट डस्ट ऑफ गोफीज बंदे नंद ब्रजेश्री नाम पाद हिंदु आई वॉन्ट टू बी हैव वन डस्ट आई कैन नॉट आई नो आई कैन नॉट हैव सो आई एम प्रेम टू डैट डस्ट फ्रॉम फेरी फॉर अवे फैर दि डस्ट इज इन दि डिरेक्शन आई एम डूइंग प्रणाम For one dust, and which dust it will be? The lotus feet of Simati Radhika. One dust. If anyone has this, he can hmm, be guru of whole world, and he can purify whole world. So, Buddha began to lament and to tell, hmm, and he wanted to serve Gopis. This is the yogini, and what of Sanjogini? I will speak tomorrow because the time is over. Go out. Any play? I play today. Oh, the very show. You should do kirtan, and they should come at once. No delay. My Hari Nam, Mala Sud. and desire to publish them so that ordinary people would be able to easily understand them. In this way he engaged in bhajan. From the beginning of his life he never took any employment. He would only beg for one hour each day and the rest of the time he would study the scriptures, take Harinam and perform Shravanam Kirtanam. 
He married, and he and his wife were very content together, living from whatever Bhagavan gave them. They had no material desires at all. They only read the Gita and contemplated spiritual topics. In the early afternoon, when most people take their lunch, he would go begging. His wife would prepare whatever he collected, and the couple would subsist solely on that. Before going out on this day, he had been writing down the meaning of the Gita verses one after another. He then came to this verse. Ananyas chintayantona yejana payupasate tesham nitnitya biyuktanam yoga kshemam bahamyaham Ananyas chintayantona those whose minds are fully self-controlled, who have no other object of meditation besides Krishna. Yejana prayupasate. One who worships Krishna in all ways, especially by the medium of Shravanam and Kirtanam, becomes situated very near to him. Tesham nitya viluktanam. One who performs bhajan like this, one who performs bhajan fixed in this way, the result is, the, is for the happiness of Krishna, not for themselves. Even if a person of bad conduct engages in this sort of exclusive bhajan, then Krishna will accept him. But if this exclusive sentiment is not there, then Krishna will never reveal himself. For those who have exclusively taken shelter of Krishna, he is the protector and maintainer. Without him, there is no other. Yoga Kshemam Vaham Yaham Krishna is saying that for his devotees who perform bhajan like this, he will supply all their requirements and either collect them and carry them himself? How can this be? This is not right. Why, I am now an old man, over 70 years old. Up until today, Bhagavan has never directly looked after us like this. We have been engaged in exclusive bhajan. And today, there is not a single mouse in the home. Why? Because there is no food in the house. We have nothing in our home, not even any foodstuffs for today's meal. I will go out and beg, and whatever I acquire, we will take that only. Isn't Bhagavan seeing this? Is he not within the hearts of all souls, witnessing everything? Certainly he hasn't taken care of us, as he is saying in this verse, Krishna would never carry the burden on his own head. It is not possible for Krishna to have spoken this verse. Someone else must have inserted it. I'll scratch it out. Krishna will carry what we require on his own body? Perhaps he would inspire a Brahmin, a king, or some other wealthy man to come and help us. But he would never carry the burden on his own head. The all-knowing and all-powerful Prabhu? We have heard that he made the poor Brahmin Sudama into a king. But he didn't physically carry any burden for him. We haven't heard of this. Arms. Would anyone have any arms for this Brahmin? Yes, sir. Do you have any 
pounds for this ramen. No, not today, I'm sorry. We have run out of everything. Maybe you can come back tomorrow and try again. Do you have some arms for this poor brahmin? Do you have some arms for this poor brahmin? Do you have some arms for this poor brahmin? I'm sorry, brahmin. I have nothing today. There is nothing in my entire house. Do you have arms for this poor garment? Hey! Go away at once! What are you doing now?